The next question is, when did the first pop song launch into public? In 1775 the British soldiers wrote a song called Yankee Doodle, but soon after American colonists stole the song and launched as their own. The next question is, what were the first instruments in pop music? Ever since the British soldiers wrote the song, jazz instruments have been used first. Instruments such as the acoustic guitar and the drums have been used. They used to call them the pop jazz. The fifth question is, who was the first author and how did it influence songwriters? A Song of Fire and Ice by George R. R. Martin was the first book with a song in it. This influenced some artists to write their songs like a book for kids to enjoy. The next question is who invented pop music and who used it first? The jazz bands all over the U.S. started to call their music pop music once it became popular. Although many jazz and country artists started the pop trend, the British soldiers wrote the first song, Yankee Doodle Corn Slave, right before Francis Scott's Star Spangled Banner. The eighth question is, how did it change and what caused it to change? And what makes a pop song pop? Rock music used to be a large part of pop music. Rock music was soon again off in its own part again and is now making a comeback. In the 1950s pop music took over rock and roll because the accountic songs were in acoustic was then considered its own category of pop music, but that has been changing to this day. By the time of the 1990s boy bands became very popular. Some of the famous boy bands were the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Some consider the boy bands as the pop kings. The final question is, what was the impact of pop music? And who was the most influential person in pop? Many songs influence teens and young adults to take drugs, alcohol, or even commit crimes and violence. Some songs lead kids to changing moods or their daily routines. While some songs have a bad influence, Others set good examples many know of the singer Mitchell Jackson and the band Beatles. These people influenced many people and became some of the most influential people. In conclusion, pop music has influenced me since I was little. I didn't know that it went back that long. I have always been given a good influence when listening. Pop music has changed, changed, and changed again. I don't know if it will change like that again. I like it as it is. Not one type of music can bump pop out of the way, mostly because it is popular music. My opinion had a little change, but not much. Any questions?